Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to my channel. Well, welcome to my tutorials. First of all, I want to say how grateful I am for you guys uh, watching and subscribing to my channel. It really encourages me to continue making more. So thank you so much. I know that there are a lot of YouTube channels out there that focus on Maya. So I really appreciate your support and that you guys are here exploring Maya with me. So thank you again. And today I wanted to share something fun because I've been seeing a lot of videos out there about, especially with Blender, that show that creates pillows really quickly. And I was wondering if it's possible to make that in Maya. And I found out that you can. You can really create create a really fast pillow in Maya. And I wanted to show you how. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, the first thing you'll need is just a regular cube. So create a cube and I'm going to just make it a little bit larger and then I'm going to puff it out a little bit, make it like a flat ish pillow. Then we're going to go to our inputs and increase our subdivision width, height and depth. So this is in your inputs. Select the text and then middle mouse and drag and that will give you some geometry. Uh, uniform geometry. So something like that will work. So far it looks like a very high poly brick. Let's go ahead and scale it down a little bit to make it like a thin pillow. Something like this. Again, don't forget to delete this. History, freeze the transformations, and center the pivot. Now that we have this, we are going to be using effects. So over here to the top left, go to effects, and let's go ahead and create an end cloth. If you take a look at your outliner, you're going to see that we now have a nucleus, which is our gravity, and we are changing our gravity to zero. Because actually, let me show you what happens with gravity. Right now, the gravity is a 9.8, and it's going to fall like, oop, let me stop it. All right, there we go. There it is. It does look like cloth. Whoops. But it's not exactly what we're looking for, but it's always fun to just watch, you know, dynamics. All right, I'm going to rewind here. And let's select our nucleus and just type in zero for our gravity. So when we press play, nothing's going to happen. I'm going to give myself more time because dynamics require more time. Let's select our end cloth shape and you're going to see that we have something called pressure. Open up pressure and let's change our value to 0.5. So I'm going to press 0.5. I'm going to rewind, press play and poof. Cool looking pillow. If you like you can decrease the pressure so you can see the effect there or you can increase the pressure and then it's going to start tipping over because it's got volume. And just like that, we have a cute little pillow. Now I can crush this a little bit more if you guys want to, and then press play, poof, you get a little bit more of that pillow. So I'm going to change this back to 0.5. I'm going to rewind and press play, boom. And there we have our pillow, really fast looking pillow. Now that we have this, we can do some fun things with it. Let's grab that uh, face over here and shift, double click. I'm going to extrude. And I'm going to scale outward just a little bit, just to give it that nice little thickness that pillows have, if I can get it to work. There we go. I'm going to press the number three so you guys can see the effect of the pillow. So let's try that again with different sizes. So that looks more like a sleeping pillow. Let's grab another cube. Go and go to the options here. It's always kind of fun to play with this, by the way. Let's uh, increase our... Let's make this really small. I'm just going to make a square pillow. Uh, let me increase my height one more, something like that. We might want to give ourselves a little more geometry so that it has some flexibility. Something like that. Does that look like a square? I'm going to make a square pillow. Scale it up. Again, doom, doom, doom. End cloth, create end cloth. You'll notice that he created this. We can always open up the attributes, take a look at the pressure again, increase that to 0.5. Rewind. Press play, poof. And then we have another cool looking pillow. Let's go ahead. Of course, you can always alter it if you want to, but I'm going to go ahead and grab some faces and maybe poof it out a little bit so it looks like a nice throw pill. Now if you don't want the grab, if you want to keep it the way it is, don't forget to delete the history and freeze the transformation so that the cloth no longer impacts it. So if I rewind, it's permanent. 
So keep that in mind. Now, you may be tempted to grab this and delete, and then you're going to see that it creates the original. So how cloth works is that it takes the original mesh and then it creates a new mesh. This is the initial state. This is the one with the cloth. So therefore, you might want to just go ahead and undo that and just keep those nuclei, those end cloths one and two. So now I have a kind of like a throw pillow for the bed and then I've got this as well. So now I can just quickly decorate a uh, a bed or I can decorate a couch if I want to or whatever you like. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of scoot these over here, duplicate this one, rotate it and just just keep modeling from there. Maybe make this one a little longer. You never have enough pillows on your bed, in my opinion. <laughs> yes, I'm that I'm that person. Uh, OK, let me grab it. I'm clicking the B, B for soft select. I'm going to go ahead and make this slightly bigger. I'm just going to model a little bit more of it just because I really like to make sure that things don't look exactly the same. It's always a little weird when things look perfect. So at least with a little bit of, of a change, it, may, it makes it look a little bit more realistic. Uh, I think I might have poked this out too much. So, all right, there you go. Some pillows. Maybe I should create maybe something like this. And let's go to modeling, mesh, edit mesh, bevel. Give yourself a couple of segments. And then you can use the fraction to soften the edges if you want to. So I'm giving myself two of them two segments and then you can just kind of play around with the fraction so you can get an idea of what that looks like. There we go. Maybe bring it in a little bit. And now it's a display pillow display pillows at a mall or something. <laughs> anyway, I can keep going forever, but uh, don't forget to always center the pivot, delete the history, freeze the transformations, and now you are more than welcome to decorate. So hopefully you found that helpful. That was a quick tutorial on how to create pillows using end cloth. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a message below and I will do my best to answer it. Otherwise, I hope this was helpful. You found something interesting and fun to build and this will make your interior decorating, you know, so much more fun. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to take a look at academicphoenixplus.com and sign up for my newsletter. But you will also go to the website and find free downloads, free tutorials, and so much more. So take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. And also, don't forget to like and share if you feel that this is a tutorial that was worth your time. And also, if you feel like somebody else could get something out of it, then please feel free to like and share. And now Arnold Light physical sky render Ooh, let me get a better shot here I'm gonna close this turn on my gate here resolution gate what do you guys think it's floating this is why shadows are important let me show you guys there's an occlusion here there we go that will help me look at for contact shadows Let's see how that looks like. This one seems to be floating. Let me grab this one and just drop it down a little bit. And let's get a better look. Something like that. Glorious pillows. I'm going to press stop and then just press three on all these. This gives it a smooth preview. There we go. All right, well, that was an extra little minute of information just to kind of make sure that it renders well. All right, thank you so much again, and I will see you next time in another tutorial to teach you extra and fun tricks. Again, thank you so much for listening. I really appreciate it, and uh, you know what would be really fun if you, f if you created this tutorial and tagged me in social media. Had a couple people do that already and I love it so if you guys want to you can tag me in social media uh, I'm in Twitter I'm in Twitter and I'm also in Instagram all right guys thank you so much and I will see you next time